Hello, this is Young Part of the Man from YouTube.com. And today says it about a um, crazy black dude, uh, 23 years old, um, uh, killed his mother for some reason, and uh, uh, decapitated her body, and um, had her uh, mother decapitated head in front of a mirror. Like, I think he was taking a picture of it. Um, for some reason, I know that his mother was abusive to him or what. Um, just kill his mother. I don't know uh, why. I haven't got the full story. I just heard about it a couple minutes ago. And um, it, 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 he said, uh, he taking a picture of himself holding the shaver head of his mother. Um, I cannot pronounce the first name. Some guy named Matt Lean, 23 year old. Um, just kill his mother uh, for some reason. I, I still cannot get the full story of it, so I cannot really go into it. But um, I'm really sad to hear about that. Um, I'm going to try to look at this link right now on Word Store Hip Hop Videos and see if I get a better understanding. You can might hear in the background. Again, with the charges filed okay, late this afternoon go. in connection with the gruesome <sighs> death of a mother in the Bronx. Her okay, body yeah, was New York. found chopped up in bags. Two people now charged in this case, including her own son. I would assume. Okay, it, two people were charged in this case. So I guess it, him and someone else had to do because this woman appeared to be maybe 225, you know, between 275, pretty big. Um,. So let's hear a little bit more of this video. Reporter Kimberly Richardson is following developments from the Mott Haven section of the Bronx. Kimberly, tell us what you know. Well, Diana, unlawful dissection of a body. That's what Bashid McLean now has to think about. And police believe he did not act alone while cutting up his mother. A so um, it was an unlawful uh, decapitation or dissecting of a body. So unlawful... Um, Decapitation or decession of the body must be autopsy. But anyway, it goes just disturbing, and uh, we pay dearly for it. Friend William Harris has now been charged with the same thing. Both men are now sitting here inside the 4 0 precinct. The questioning far from over. That's too much. It's too much. This is a first look inside Tanya Bird's building where police say she was killed in her second floor apartment. Her son, Bashid McLean, with the help of a friend, William Harris, then allegedly cut up her body. Sources tell Eyewitness News surveillance tape then shows the pair carrying bags and suitcases out of the elevator and through the lobby. Okay, so anyway, go. Um, I do not know what the situation is, but... Uh, he turned three years so old, pretty much mostly locked you down the drain right now. More likely he's going to get it locked with death. Um, I do not know. If you give him life, he already kind of messed up in the head to begin with, right? So, you give him life, you're getting him off the street. That's a good thing. But you give him a place to stay, eat, gym, TV. But well, not what we do out here, but we working for it. But, you know, he could get a black and white TV and watch PBS all day. He's still better off than we are out here. So my opinion is, I like that. I'm a Democrat. I'm pro, pro choice. I'm a liberal. I uh, support gay rights. You don't want to get married to each other. Fine. As long as not fear of me. I support sex work rights. Do not believe in the killing of children. Um, do not believe in forcing someone to sell the body. Uh, do if they're gonna do, it, they should do it at their own will. But this right here, I think the boys should get electrocuted because uh, if you don't electrocute them, like I said, tax pay money, you're going to be the joker. Clothing, keep him warm. Okay, he bed not like my bed, but sure, he, he he free. So um, my opinion about this: go ahead and let's execute this joke and just get out of the way. And we know he's guilty, right? I know there are lots of people on death row. I know there are some a lot of people oppose the death penalty because lots of innocent people get killed. Sure, unfortunately, that with anything you do in life, um, airplanes is the safe way to travel, but you still have people dying in airplane crashes uh, by the hundred. Uh, every year, but um, you know, but majority of the time, it's still the safe. It's just like people getting less guilty. Majority of them ill guilty. Um, so I think we should just go ahead and give the joke of the death penalty and just get out of the way and don't make no 15 years about it. Maybe one or two years at the most, make sure everything he did was guilty, and then just execute the joke. Because if you don't, all you're doing is just giving free board and state diet. 
So uh, I'd like to say, um, you know, uh, I do not support this. I put him with all the other trash, like with all the serial killer who kill innocent women on the street and k kill innocent people, kids, all of that stuff. Now, I do not support this guy so whatever. And uh, I would say he was, the, he was the biggest loser of 2013. So I want to hear your views about this. And uh, like I say, uh, D23 old young. I remember when I was 23. Good guy. And I thought, well, but now I'm 34. So really. So I want to hear everybody's views about this. And uh, I think this shit goes should be put to death. This is Jane Paul David from YouTube.com. And I want to hear your views.